All right, I'm live again after another long, unexpected hiatus where I wasn't able to do that many lives. Not for lack of trying. Uh, my internet connection has been very, very slow. And last Saturday, I attempted to record and upload four or five different videos and they wouldn't work. Um, so I gave up and just figured it was just a bad, you know, internet connection. I wasn't going to have any luck. So back to the drawing board. Whoops. Hold on a second. Let me turn my volume down so I don't have an echo. So I was able to uh, actually get my internet to cooperate today. And even though the video might be a little bit choppy, I think we're going to be able to make a nice card today. And I was able to actually improve my sound quality. And this was by purchasing a Snowball microphone, which has just picks up my voice so much better. A little bit too much. You can actually hear breathing. So sorry about that if you hear me breathing, especially today with my allergies acting up. But let's go ahead and get started. Let me make sure that my lighting is okay here. And this card that I'd like to make today is using the Blue Knight rubber stamp. This is called the Covered Bridge. And I'll keep it out as a reference so that we can um, have something to look at. As long as it doesn't create too much of a glare. If it creates too much of a glare, I might not keep it out. I bought some side lights. Hey, Lisa, how are you? I bought some side facing lights so that I'd have, um, you know, better lighting quality here. Hey, Sherry. Yeah, I do too. I'm really getting excited about the Blue Knight rubber stamps and using them with uh, watercolor. So that's what we're going to do today. So what I've done here, I have my Misty and I have some Canson cold press watercolor paper in my Misty and I have the stamp loaded. I'm going to use some of this, my favorite things, hybrid ink. Um, you don't see too many people using this anymore, but it actually does very well with watercolor. So we're going to use this to um, stamp up our Blue Knight rubber stamp here. So might take me a couple applications. This is a pretty detailed stamp, um, but we'll get through it and we will get it stamped up. And I'm stamping it on my watercolor paper on the smooth side. And then I'm going to use Arteza watercolor pencils to color, color it in. I, I did one earlier, um, but I, I think I applied too much of a heavy hand. So this is what I'm going for, but I think I can improve upon it. So I need to stamp this again. I didn't quite get a very good impression, the one that is nice and crisp, but that oftentimes happens, especially with a rubber stamp. That looks much better. I'm going to apply some firm pressure here in my Misty. Hope everyone's having a great day. I um, think it's very deceptive. The weather outside is really cold and dreary, but when you look outside your window, at least where I live, it's a bright sunny day. So but once you go outside and that wind hits you, you can forget about it. So I've been um, basically staying indoors today, and it's a good day to get my covered bridge card done finally. I don't know if the paper's warped, and it seems like it's not stamping very well in that one section. I'll give it one more try. Looks like it's right in here. Maybe I'm just not pressing firm enough. Okay. I hope you can hear me okay. Hi, Jessica. How are you doing? Okay, that's better. Now we have a nice deep impression. Okay, we're going to watercolor with the Arteza. Let me just move the stamp off of my Misty. 
put the misty away. Hopefully. All right. So what we have here, we have, yeah, Lisa, it is so windy. I mean, you'll get blown away working outside today. And it's so cold here in the mountains. And even if I were to go outside and bundle up, I'm afraid doing any kind of flower bed weeding or whatever would just be so cold on my fingers. Okay, hold on a second, you guys. I have to get my, my, what is this called? Just try not to get them ahead of myself here. This is my uh, microfiber cloth, and I'm just using a little bit of squeaky clean to clean the stamp image, the, the black ink off the stamp. I'll just give it a quick, quick cleaning and put it aside and I can clean it more thoroughly later. Okay. <clears throat> what we have here are the Arteza watercolor pencils. These are the, they're called Expert. And I heard about these um, through Nancy Stamps. Oh, Jessica, good for you. I didn't realize today was that global day of service. Didn't realize that. Um, they come in this case, and there's three different trays with a you know beautiful selection of colors. So they're a lot of fun. And um, it was Nancy who uh, I watched use them, and she thought that they were really good. So I actually got this whole set uh, on Amazon, um, on the not Amazon, but on the Arteza website. I ordered it directly from Arteza. Yeah, Lisa, do you like them? I like them a lot. But I was able to get this whole set for under $25, you guys. I was able to um, buy them directly from Arteza and use a coupon. So 